As the Iowa legislative session continues, bills are being introduced daily. This is a live look at the State House tonight, where House lawmakers are putting on emphasis on Iowa universities. A new bill introduced today would impact higher education. And it wouldn't just impact students, but staff as well. KCCI's Ophelia Jacobson is live outside the State House tonight with how House Republicans are planning to tackle diversity, equity, and inclusion. Ophelia. Well, Stacey, Ben, House Republicans tell me the bill they introduced earlier today is really a continuation of their work on higher education reform over the past year, while House Democrats say it's just another example of Republicans wanting to play politics with education in the state. They call it diversity, equity, inclusion, but they really ought to call it division, exclusion, and indoctrination. House Republicans are taking up diversity, equity, and inclusion programs at state universities in a new bill introduced Monday. Representative Taylor Collins, along with 34 other GOP members, are calling it their higher education reform proposal. It really takes a lot of the things we've been working on over the last year and put them into code. In 2023, Governor Kim Reynolds signed a bill into law that directed the Board of Regents to conduct a study and a review of DEI programs and come up with recommendations for them. Their recommendations came out in November. What this bill does is it codifies those recommendations and building off the bipartisan report that that board offered to us. If the bill were to become a law, public universities would have to eliminate any unnecessary positions or functions in DEI offices. Universities couldn't require students and staff to disclose pronouns, nor could they require them to submit a DEI statement. They also wouldn't be able to use race as a factor in admissions and hiring processes. The bill that we see before us is just another punching bag to higher education here in the state. House Minority Leader Jennifer Confirst says DEI is needed on college campuses. She wants Republicans to focus on other issues related to education, like tuition costs. There are families right now who are sitting down trying to figure out how they're going to pay for college next this fall as their students are getting accepted and getting ready to graduate. And uh, I think what they'd like the legislature to do is address things like cost. Converse says House Democrats are working on a bill that will do just that. And Collins says the bill introduced by House Republicans today does address tuition costs. The bill would cap tuition increases at 3%. Live at the State House, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. And it has been a busy legislative session for the latest on bills being worked on in the state. Go to our website, kcci.com. You can also find the bills on our mobile app under the Politics tab. The federal weapons trial began today for Adair Police Chief Brad Went. He's charged with making false statements to the ATF about buying machine guns for the police department and then instead selling them in his gun store. KCCI senior reporter Todd Nagels at the courthouse tonight with more on day one of the trial. Federal prosecutors say Chief Went used his position of trust in the Adair Police Department to sell firearms for his own personal gain. We were there as Went came out of federal court Monday with his legal team. He's wearing the turquoise color tie. In his opening statement, Went's defense attorney told the jury he did nothing illegal and informed the ATF of all of his gun sales and purchases. This all began in 2018 when Went was hired as the Adair police chief. The government says he immediately started buying guns, a total of 90 guns over the years, which he said were for the two-man Adair police force. One of the weapons is an $80,000 electric Gatling machine gun that can fire 6,000 rounds a minute. That machine gun ended up on his personal Humvee SUV. Prosecutors say many of the guns he allegedly bought for the police department, he later sold at at least one of two gun stores he owns. Monday afternoon, several gun manufacturers testified about their dealings with Went. Chief Went faces 10 years in federal prison if found guilty of these charges. The trial continues on Tuesday. In downtown Des Moines, Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. An investigation is underway after an inmate was found dead in Jasper County. It happened early this morning, just before 3. Officials say the Jasper County Jail requested medical care. They say the inmate was found unresponsive and later pronounced dead. We do not know the inmate's name right now. The Jasper County Sheriff's Office, along with Iowa DCI, are investigating the death. Responding to school threats, the question some students want answered after a false alarm at Des Moines Lincoln High. An Iowa alum shares the spotlight with great music, what her role was in playing along with the piano man himself.
Words of encouragement why One Des Moines School is showing support for their students.